like I said, there's nothing wrong with a woman saying, I don't want to have sex. And it's also nothing wrong for me to say, you need to leave and I'm going to call another woman. I'm in my own home. I can do what I want. If I want to call a woman in front of her, that's whatever. But that in no means means I'm a misogynist. I'm saying the way you talk about Golly. women. Yeah. And you it's just, I'm saying the way, the, what, the, the way you were saying it. Oh, if a woman doesn't want to have sex with you, men, you have to put her in her place. Okay, like, you I, gotta I, use I logic here. Myself. You're, you're going, so, uh, you're going off of feelings. Like, so it's, it's not you, what. Okay, so now to, to Myron's point, because I know this is what he's going to get into here. To Myron's point is he's again using empirical data, using objective truth to counter an emotional women leading with emotion. You made me feel like you hated women because you said the word bitch, or you wanted to keep women in their place. Right. You think that they should be in their place. Well, we can have that. We can have the discussion about traditional, conventional gender roles. We can have that discussion. That's not going to en enter into the conversation here. But the fact is, is that that just made them feel bad. It's like tone policing. I get this all the time from from from. Well, you, I don't get. It's funny. It's like I don't get too much criticism from feminists. I get mostly most of the criticism comes from guys who just simply don't want to accept what I have, what I have to say. They don't want to accept the truth. But the criticism that I do get from women when I'm putting this out there is, well, if you said things nicer, you know, if you tied it up with a nice pink bow, then people, you know, women would listen to you more, right? No, no, you wouldn't because it's not the delivery. It's the information. It's the data. That's the problem. Men communicate information first, and then they think about feelings, right? For women, it's the opposite way around. Women prioritize how a conversation made them feel, and then they, if they get to it, they process the data. Perfect example right here of the miscommunication of how men communicate and how women communicate. We do not communicate the same. Our brains are not wired the same way. You want the, you want the fMRI studies? I will give them, you, give them to you. Actually, I gave them to you on the, the show that I did with Myron back in June. But if you want those again, I'll be happy to give them to you. We are not wired the same way. Women have, and here, here's the thing, if I go and I, if I point out all the studies that show that women have a better facility or better faculties, whatever, for communication, for subcommunication, for innuendo, for vocal intonations, for facial expressions, for understanding, like, just like, you know, visual community, body language and that kind of stuff. If I show you those studies, women are just like, oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But if I say that men have better rational faculties, we're better at math, we're better at geolocation, we're better at manipulating three-dimensional three objects, we're better at throwing things naturally, right, at straight out of the womb. If I show you those studies, then it's, oh, that's just that evil psych stuff. That's just so misogynistic. That's because we're in a gynocentric social order. That gets suppressed, whereas anything that's complementary to woman's nature, which in this case it is, right, the, com the communication, that gets pushed up. That gets pushed up to the top of the heap that goes up in the algorithm and, and men being able to throw a rock better than women or a ball or whatever, that goes down to the bottom. That's where we're at right now. That's why you have this, this clash. But, and, and this is, that's why I wanted to highlight this video today is because that's where we're at. It's the clash between emotionalism versus rationalism. And, and this is, uh, there's no better illustration of that. I'm, I, I feel like I'm the one that has to like sort of do the play by play. Like I'm the, I'm the, you know, John Madden of, of the red pill. Like, oh, you know, give my X's and O's and say, and then he says this, like, I could do that. But this is where, this is where it, it boils down. This is where the rubber meets the road with respect to the, the war really that's going on between rationalism and emotionalism. I feel, I feel, I feel. Oh, fuck your feelings. God sod on Joe Rogan. I'm quoting him. Fuck your feelings because nobody cares about it. And certainly nobody cares about men's feelings and they shouldn't honestly, they shouldn't care about your feelings because it's only important to you really. And the sooner you accept that, the better off you're going to be. All right. Oh, you should reach out for help. Yeah, you should. I'm not saying you should. You're depressed. You're suicidal. Definitely reach out for help, right? You know, make sure it's another guy, but don't expect women's empathy or sympathy to be on tap. And, and God forbid, don't expect women to get off on the fact that you're vulnerable with your feelings or whatever. That's you leaning over into women's preferred way of communicating. That's you trying to operate in a female dynamic. That's you trying to operate in a gynocentric, female correct paradigm. You know, a lot of guys reach out for help with an AK-47 or <laughs> AR-15, right? They, they have their emotional, I mean, express yourself emotionally. Okay, that, that's, 
that's their expression. You told them to do it. That's the anger is their that's, that's the emotion they want to express. There you go. That's how you get movies like The Joker. <laughs> you know, that's why that's popular because it's a it's a fantasy. It's a retribution fantasy. But he is having he is expressing himself emotionally. So there you go. You got what you wish for, ladies. The fact is, is that men and women don't communicate the same way because we don't interpret our world in the same way. We don't interpret respect the same way. We don't interpret love the same way. We don't interpret. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying men are better than women or women are better than men. I'm just saying that they are better suited for different challenges that the world and the environment places on us. It's okay that women lead with emotion. It's okay that men should anyways be naturally innately lead with reason. Our strengths make up for women's weaknesses and women's strengths make up for men's weaknesses. We're supposed to be that way. It's complementary. We're supposed to be complementary to one another. That's the, been the success of this species for over 100,000 years because we have been complements like that, because we have had gender roles, because we have had conventional masculinity and conventional femininity. And there's nothing wrong with those things. The only thing that makes them wrong is when you have these memes in your head that say, These should, you shouldn't feel good like that. Beauty is a social construct. No, it's not. I can show you the data that showed that it's not. A multicultural, multi-ethnic data that shows that there is a universal objective standard for beauty for both men and women. They have different concepts, right? I can, I can show you those too if you'd like. You know, oh, show me the data. Okay, fine. I'll put it in the description if that's what you want. But here we have it. This is the, the clash between, and this is why I say they're not speaking the same language. Do you get that? Kind of a little bit in this in this conversation, he's speaking in a, a language that she doesn't understand. It's the same; it's English, right? But he's speaking from a, a, a in a way that is a presumption that she's going to understand the concepts he's putting out there, and she is uh, speaking from uh, a position where this is how I feel, and this is your, and because I've always been coddled to, and because we live in a gynocentric social order, you're supposed to understand what it is that I'm saying, and you're supposed to submit to me. This is uh, this is ideological, mimetic warfare is what's going on between the two of them here. 